Three and a half looks a fairly good bet. 3.25, maybe. I've been admonishing people, as I have been, have been saying we'll be down to 2.5 in a year's time. That is highly unlikely. And in fact, it would be more likely that we'd be down to 0.5 in a year's time because there would have to be a significant event that would mean we needed to drop rates particularly quickly. But you've got to put that all into context with, with the rates we've had, which have had the brakes on the economy effectively. And if I try and keep it relatively simple, I never do, I know that, <laughs> but relatively simple, you know, it takes about six months for an interest rate change to kick in. So we have got a bit more of a following wind in the economy with debt being a little bit cheaper in the shorter term today than it was when we last spoke, for example, or than it was 12 months ago. So I think we'll see the base rate come down. I'm not convinced that's going to feed through into mortgage rates on the five-year basis that are a lot cheaper. So again, try and keep that concept relatively simple. The base rate sets their interest rate for the next three months. The rate next, the rate for the next two years, which is obviously used quite a lot, especially by first-time buyers, they tend to like to get a two-year mortgage, and quite a few investors use them as well. Uh, is that's an eighth of that time period 